stand on All News Nigeria TV. And yes, we are at one of the most popular newsstands right here in Lagos to as always check which issue is the most disturbing to Nigerians. And I am Prince Gani reporting for All News Nigeria TV. Do stay with us. I was analyzing to my colleagues here. I was telling them, look, it is now 60-40. The way I see it, without being myopic, is 60-40. And why do I say 60-40? Look at the four grounds on which Obaseki was disqualified. Every politician in Nigeria should know, if you have good grounds for disqualification, if you like, join Labour Party, if you like, join any party, join ABGA. They will see, they can see use those four grounds to challenge you in court. Let us assume he wins an election. The opponent will just have a free right to government house. Why? Number one, either it is a good law or it is a bad law. The law which you stand to uphold within your party, once you are a party member, is the law of the party, regardless of whether it's good or bad. Don't let us go into that. But once you have signed, you are a card carrying member of a party. And the party says if you have issues, within yourself. You must exhaust it within the party. They sort up a committee, they look at it, and the party state clearly that whatever the, uh, the committee comes up with is what you have to abide with, either good or bad. That is the law of their party, which is the law of APC. Now, Obaseki took APC to court. By extension, he took Oshiamole to court. It's wrong. I'm a very free Nigerian. It's wrong. That is anti-party activity in another form. So that's one of the grounds. The second ground is, okay, you claim to have graduated from University of Ibadan. Everybody in Nigeria, even a class 4 student in secondary school knows that for you to enter a premier university like that, you must have minimum 5 O-level credits. Or you have joint credits. Either WAEC, NECO, GC, WAEC, whatever. You can combine it. But if you are using a single result, in his own case, he said, he had three O-level credits. I read it in the paper. I went through it clearly. And the other one was that you are supporting it with your HSC certificate. You can do that, which is, which is you are supporting one with the other. But they now ask you, present your HSC certificate. Till date, he has not presented it. So I want to conclude that probably there is something fishy about that certificate. That's why he's not presenting it. That's number two. Number three, they now said, in the form you feel, it was stated clearly. Surname first, then middle name or last name. In his own case, he had two names. You say first name is Godwin, which is your personal name. Surname is Obaseki, which is his father's name. But in the document he submitted, he had Obaseki Godwin. Let people talk from now to tomorrow and say Obaseki Godwin and Godwin Obaseki is the same thing. I say no, the law does not recognize that. It is stated clearly. Your name, you put it there. Surname, you put it there. But the certificate is reading it the reverse way. Nobody will help you in your own case. You have to prove it if you are a politician in Nigeria. If you are with us, if you like, kill somebody, we can overlook it. If you like, wound somebody, we can overlook it. But the moment you are against the party, that is how it is played in Nigeria. It's every political party that plays it. That is the time you know that to spit on the ground on the street alone is an offense. So forget about when he was with them, they knew this. Of course they will know. They will cover it up. That is politics in Nigeria for you. We are not yet there, but we are getting somewhere. But now it's not coming out to say they know it with them. They should arrest him with them. I will give you another case, if that is what you want to prove. Let us go back memory lane. Musili Obani Koro was a senator under PDP government. You remember him? When he was with PDP, they crucified him. He said thief, he said this, he's that. They, he helped uh, Fayoshe to regain his state election. He do this, he do that. The moment he joined APC, they have dropped all the charges. Do you read about the case in the newspapers again? That is Nigeria for you. That is how we play politics in our country. So don't go to that. We get there. It's gradual. We get there one day. So all this one, I will say, PDP in Edo is six is forty percent, APC is sixty percent as it is now. 
unless they are able to follow them bumper to bumper. But if it is what we are seeing, let PDP not rejoice yet. I'm telling you. But I hope they won't be stupid and be daft to now say we are giving Obaseki free ticket because those issues are still there. I don't think they will be that daft. But if they are, well, good luck. The chances of Obaseki winning the second term is very high. It's very high, at least up to 75, 70 to 75%. Because Obaseki joining the PDP is not new to me. Because I have known that since last year, that Obasek is definitely going to join the People's Democratic Party. Because I know since the, the, the one who called himself the godfather of the states, who was said that there's not like godfatherism in those states, is now, is now practicing the godfatherism, brought up an, a candidate from the opposition, from the same PDP who, 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 who contest against Obasek some years back. Now, he's, he has brought the same person now to come and contest against Obaseki in the same party. I said, this is, is not going to work. Obaseki is not getting the APC ticket again, which I'm very sure of. And he's going to join the, the People's Democratic Party, which is the PDP. And since he has joined the ICD, I'm very happy. He has, he has met with some people in the, in the PDP, people like Uche Sekundus, which is the national chairman. And with that, I think he's, he's good to go. He's good to go. For me, it's 50-50. It's 50-15 the same that uh, national they suspe suspended the national chairman might still have power. But as an incumbent, that's why I said it's 50-50. We have your Shimole uh, four years ago. Did the PDP not take him to court in four years ago? What was the outcome of that court? So I don't think it will affect them. Yeah, I think uh, he has a great chance, greater than when he was in APC. Because Obaseki as a person is a good, a good man. And uh, he has been doing well in Edo State. Now that he is in uh, PDP, which I feel that is the original uh, owner of Edo State, I believe that he has a 100% chance of winning. When they talk about certificate, already the, the uh, school, the school, the high institution that he went, has already satisfied that. He went to the, their, their school and they have assured that they are ready to back up whatever comes up at any time. So I don't know why they should be talking about certificates. Call a dog a bad name and hang it. So they just want to call him a bad name and hang, it, hang him. There is no doubt, there is no two words about that. Basak is the next governor of Edo State. I'm not from Edo, but people love him. It's a time for us to earn political godfather in the nation. That's the only way. Let's go to the way of masses. Our godfather, they have failed Nigerians, they have failed us. So we don't want that again. Obasike is a novice in the politics. He doesn't know the politics. Somebody brought you to APC because Obasike was in the bank. He doesn't know anything about uh, politics usually. Somebody brought you to come and join them. In primary election, you didn't win. But According to the rules, they put you there as a governor. Now, after you see it, person who brought you, you will want to eliminate it. That is bad. About they go to the PDP, cannot win in primary. Talk less of winning the state uh, governor. They cannot win in primary. Talk less state governor. So that is my opinion. What is going on in those state today? I think right that about a key we retain his seat as governor of Edo State. Beside that, Basegi is the son of the swag. Uh, he's a prince. And the son of the swag of uh, Edo State. And Basegi had the time, chance to complete his eight years tenure in Edo State. And beside that, Oshomole, people in Edo State love him so much before before now, but in character and attitude now, I don't think people willing to listen to him any longer because he have deceived many Nigerians. So people in Endo State, then they not, we don't have anything that will make us to welcome him as a, a father or godfather of Endo State. That is one thing I'm here to tell you for now. Obaseke will win in those states. To me personally, 
if I have my chance to travel during the election, I will cast my vote for him. Thank you. The problem that Obaseki have, you didn't know anything about politics. Somebody brought you to the seat, and then you come to the governor. And there is demand that you know, you know, you know in and out about you. And when you go there, you, 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 are, you are beginning to carry shoulder. And they remember that there's nobody he can be up without somebody. So no matter you be, you must be giving that person honor. No matter the mistake that person have, you must be you must be honor that person. You can't humiliate that person. But what is in ground in Obaseki is now? Obaseki he showed totally that he's a betrayer. Now, secondly, when Obaseki come to the governor, you are not qualified to be to be there. You don't have certificate. You are using your brother's certificate. And the other people you know all this because that you want you there. Now you came to the gov you came to the governor, and are you forgot that when you are doing all those things, all the secret that he, that is covered before, you will be open. Uh, you are get what I'm talking about. That now I'm here that of us that want to go for go to a PDP. Eh? It's already failed because PDP have a structure. Uh, you are getting now. So the only thing that I want to of us to know if of us can lack himself, forget about anything that happened. Stay with the party. Let of us can remember I'm body in Lagos when the issue come. I'm already up to now. I'm already not say anything. I'm already quiet. I'm already know that if you spoke anything, you, eh, you will spoil that in name that the, the good name that you have before. It can be spoiled. So when any so, another another way is this. Let me help Obaseki in this way now. Obaseki need to keep quiet and cool down. People that is pushing Obaseki when you push into the war, eh, when Obaseki look back, you won't see anybody. It's better for Obaseki to stay with the party. If the party stay, okay, you don't want it to go with second time. Cool down. You are used to four years. Stay with the party and maintain your champion. My opinion is that happened happened the camp to PDP. As and if it happened to become the uh, the uh, governorship candidate for, uh, at last, I believe that you will give him PDP being one of the major party in the country. That will give him a clear chance to still continue as the governor of uh, Edo State. Come September, the incumbent governor, at least you have about 55%. Uh, All right guys, that will be all for today on Nigerian Matter for Newsstand on All News Nigeria TV. And yes, it appears that the Obaseki issue is still the most disturbing to Nigerians. And we've heard what Nigerians have to say about the chances of Obaseki winning the next election in Edo State. Do well to join us next week on another episode of Nigerian Matter for Newsstand on All News Nigeria TV. Don't forget to like this video, share, drop your comments, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel.